Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Adobe Photoshop design series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can open up an existing image inside of Photoshop and then add on additional images inside of that, move them about, transform them, scale them, make them bigger, smaller and that kind of thing and make some basic graphic designs. So if you take a quick look at some of my recent work here, um, if you look at it you'll see it's pretty much a compilation of a bunch of different images on top of each other to get the look and the style and sort of a design that I'm after. So for example, if we take a quick look at my Adobe Photoshop thumbnail here, you can see I've got a background image, I've got some text on top, and then I've also got the Photoshop logo on top. And what we're going to be doing today is pretty much something very similar to that. We're going to be getting a background image, and then we're going to put another image on top and showing you how to scale it and place it inside of your scene. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start off by opening up an image that I've got already so I can show you guys just how simple it is to do. There's two ways we can do this. From the top left hand corner we can go to file and open and then we could navigate to the file or alternatively in our you know recent panel here we can go and open it up but for now I'm just going to go ahead and just open up a file that I've got already and I've got this file here called dsc underscore 0018. And this is just a funny looking picture of me holding my camera while taking a picture with another camera with my other hand. So once we've actually opened this up, we've got the image in our scene and we've actually got a background layer for that. If we wanted to, we can go ahead and unlock that background layer by double clicking on it and then it will just pretty much turn it into a proper layer that we can use. Just press OK for now. And then with this, with my selection tool set to move, I can go ahead and move this around and I can just place it wherever I want. So that's very basic. So what I want to do now is show you guys how you can actually add another image on top of that and to start getting the look and the style that you're after. Now probably the best place to get an image is probably going to be just Google Images. So I'll show you how you can download an image and pretty much just put it into your scene here. So for me, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and type in sausage PNG. So we're going to put a picture of the sort of this sausage onto the scene here and it's going to be really really great. We're going to show you how to move it about on the scene. Now the reason why I actually looked for sausage PNG is, well the PNG bit anyway, is so that we can actually have transparency in the background. So if we click this you can see we've got that checkerboard effect in the background and then if I was to drag this out and if I was to move it into the scene there would be nothing in the background, we just move the sausage around which is quite nice. So let's go ahead and save this and show you how to actually get it into the scene. So I'm actually going to save this to my desktop for now and I'm just going to call this sausage. Once we've done that, let's go ahead and close Google and let's place it into the scene. Okay, and so the way that we're actually going to get this into our scene is quite simple. All we've got to do is just navigate to it in our file explorer and then just click and drag it into the scene and there we are, we have got our sausage. So we've got the sausage on the scene and we can move this around using the selection tool. Just at the top here. So we can move it up, down, left, right, place it wherever we want. We also have a couple of other transformation tools that we can use to actually modify this image and get it looking the way that we want it to. So if we actually hold down Control and T and then you'll see it will become selected and if we right click we can do a few things to it. For example, we can scale it, we can rotate it, we can skew it, we can change the perspective, distort it, warp it, and we can even rotate it or flip it horizontally. So I'm going to start off by just setting this to scale and then we have access to pretty much just grab these little corners and then we can just scale it to make it big, make it small or do anything like that. Just grab one of these corners and you can scale it to make it look how you want. If we press Ctrl T again, we can also go down and rotate this. So rotate. And then if we grab one of the corners, we can just twist that around and we can put this wherever we like. You've got a couple of other ones in there as well, such as skew. So that will just pretty much let you modify the look of this a little bit. I want you guys to go ahead and, you know, just experiment with distort, skew and perspective so you can get a rough idea of what all of these do. But you can just pretty much make this look like it's, you know, from a different angle, distort it and all of that cool stuff. So I'm just going to press Control alt z to actually get it back to how it was before and what I'm going to do here is I'm actually just going to go ahead and scale this sausage by pressing Control t and then just making it nice and small here and I'm just going to put it in the center of my screen. 
If we look at the bottom right hand corner, you can see we've got a couple of layers. We've got our background layer and we've got our sausage layer, which is quite nice. If we was to move the sausage layer underneath the background layer, it's going to disappear. So this hopefully gives you a good idea of how our layers work. So let me show you another example, in terms of layers anyway, and our images. So if I was to go ahead and add some text, and just put it here, and then I'm just going to type in um, sausage, sausages is cool. We've got our text here, and if I click that, use the move tool at the top left hand corner, I can move this onto the scene here, and at the moment it's going to be on top of the sausage, because, you know, the sausage is on the lower uh, on the layer beneath but if we move the sausage on top it's now going to be on top of the text which is quite nice hopefully this is giving you guys a good understanding of how we can actually transform move and use some images to create these cool designs so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and move my text back down here and then i'm going to move the sausage back into this really nice place here and then i'm just going to change the color of this and just show you how easy it is and i'm going to make this like a little red uh, color for now. Not a red, like an orange sausage sort of color, and that is good. Anyway guys, I think that is a really good place to end the video. Hopefully you guys have a better understanding of just how simple it is to actually work with images inside of Photoshop, transform them, move them around, and start turning them into these really, really cool graphic designs. Once again guys, thanks for watching, and as always, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus. Signing out.